Hey there, this is Vanessa DeRolay and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you or talk about how I made $100 in 30 days. Now you're probably thinking, oh, whippy do all, there's all kinds of other videos out there where people are making a thousand dollars a day or $5,000 a day. And that's right. But remember there was a time when they made their first hundred dollars in 30 days. And I'm going to show you how you can do that on YouTube, how to get monetized and what that looks like. Um, if you're already monetized, you're already a YouTuber and you're already monetized, then turn it off now. You, you, you don't need any of this, save your time. But if you're new or if you're just thinking about starting a YouTube channel, let me show you. I'm going to give you four tips and I'm going to show you what you need to do to get monetized. Okay. I do have other videos on how to start a channel, how to start your first video and things like that. I have a whole playlist that I'll um, give to you at the end of the video. You can just click it and go right through. It's called YouTube for beginners. Everything you need to know to get started. I like to keep it simple, but here we go. First of all, to get monetized with YouTube, you do have to have a YouTube channel. But one of the first things that you want to think about is what is your channel going to be about? So while you're thinking about that, let me tell you the rules or the requirements that you need to meet to be able to get monetized. When you first start your channel, there's no money. It's all hard work. And I say yes, hard work, persistence, consistency. You got to keep putting those videos out until you reach 4,000 hours of watch time. And that's a lot. It, do the math. It's about 20,000 minutes a month or something like that. Or you can look at it as hours, 400 hours a month, possibly. I don't have it off the top of my head, but it's a lot. So in the beginning, it can be discouraging when you keep making videos, but keep it up because it does happen. The second thing you need is a thousand subscribers. I look back, I tracked my subscribers and it took me, I didn't know what I was doing. I was totally in the dark. Um, but I had eight subscribers within three months. So I had a very, very slow start. Now I'm helping a friend get started and hers are picking up a lot faster because I know more now than I did back then. I was just making videos and I'll tell you what kind of videos I made and things like that in just a moment. But once you make your channel, you want to go into your uh, page and on the left hand side down here, it says monetization. Now yours isn't going to look like mine because I'm already monetized. But what I love about it is there's a little um, note there from YouTube and it says, um, let us know that you want to be notified when you have met these requirements. And I clicked it. And when I hit my requirements, I had a, the best day of my life with YouTube. I had an email from YouTube saying you are You've met the requirements. Then you have to go back in and there's some things you have to fill out. Again, I have videos on that, but the fun thing is in the beginning is you can ask them to notify you when you're when you've met the requirements, 4,000 hours. Now, how do you watch for that? Because in the beginning, that's what you're going to be doing. Like how many hours do I have? How close am I? You will go back into your channel and on the left hand side, um, actually let's click it over here. If you start watching the analytics, then you're going to see how many hours you have. And I'll show you that in a minute, but daily, one of the things I watched as well, let me go back to my main page here. See how I have this data that's coming up. These analytics, this is from vidIQ. I have their basic pro program. It comes out to like I think it's like $9 a month. It's not a lot, but it's been one of the best investments I've made. And as of right now, I, I still only have the pro account. And right here, it tells me in real time, how, who's watching my channel? Where am I at right now? And you can see here, I'm not even, I'm at like, um, my views are on here. Um, how many views did I get in the last 60 minutes? How many in the last 48 hours? And it's just fun to watch because you can see things in real time and it makes it more exciting to see, hey, this is increasing and I'm noticing that my average, I like to watch the 48 hours. I can remember back when it was like 30 and now it's hitting close to 500. Again, I'm still a small channel. I'm making this for those of you that have hope and want to do this. Okay. To see that it does work. That's my goal in this video. It works folks. You just have to put the work in. All right. So that I like to watch vidIQ. I've got a link below if that's what you're interested in. Now from there, here I went into my analytics over to the left and you can see right here, I hit what does my analytics look like in the last 90 days? Cause I've only been monetized for 30 days and they basically have 28 days 
on analytics in the 90. And I wanted to take a picture of this. How much money did I make in 30 days? I got monetized 30 days ago and I've made $110 expected revenue just for running my videos that I've already made. So all that hard work that I did in a year, I'm excited. I thought this was going to be lower and I'm very, very excited and it's just going to keep getting bigger. But look at that, folks. You know, after you put all that work in, it took me a year to get monetized. It may take you six months. I've seen people out there do it in less than that. It really probably depends on your topic and how much you put out and all kinds of other things. And But anyway, for me, this is my story, okay? Now, if you want to watch your hours and, and, and as you're getting monetized, you're going to change this up here. Look up here in the top right hand corner. You want to have 4,000 hours within 365 days. And that's the, the rule with YouTube. Okay. So right here, you're watching your watch time. And this here, the hours are 4,800. So I've met that. Now, let's say that you met the 4,000 hours and you stop making a lot of videos and that goes under 4,000 hours within 12 months, YouTube has the right to pull you from the program. So you want to keep on creating videos and keep that momentum going and keep watching that, especially in the beginning when you're small. Okay. So that's how you watch your hours. Subs, obviously, you know how to watch that. It, it tells you on your, your main page how many subs you have. Okay. Um, subscribers right here. Uh, it says that's just in the last year. So 2,200. That is not including all the people that unsubscribe, I do believe, because I think I'm a little, I'm real close to that. I'm rounded out. Okay. So that's correct. All right. So what are some tips in creating a channel? One of the things that I recommend you do, one, the first thing I recommend you do is to pick a niche, like I was just telling you about. What does that mean? Pick something that you're interested in, do a little bit of research, and make sure people are searching for that. Because maybe you're interested in macrame, okay? I think that's coming back right now, actually. I used to macrame years ago. But let's say you're interested in macrame and you really want to do a video about some lost um, art of crafts, okay? I, I'm just thinking of this off the top of my head. Are people searching for that? Go in and start searching for macrame and see if there's other videos and are they getting watched? Are people searching? And once you decide what your video is or your, your channel is going to be about, then you want to start making videos. And you might say, yeah, but gosh, you know, what kind of videos would I make? What I did, I have affiliate marketing mastery. I'm teaching people how to start a business in affiliate marketing. I've been pretty much from the beginning talking about that and what i did as i was learning how to use all the tools that i needed for my business i just did a bunch of how-to videos most of my videos way back a year ago in the beginning were probably one minute and 30 seconds to five minutes don't worry about video time length and the reason i'm telling you this is because if you're trying to make a video 10 minutes long you're going to find yourself just babbling and just trying to get it to 10 minutes what i suggest is have something to say say it and let the time be what it is people appreciate that i cannot stand it when i go to get on a video for training from someone and the video is like an hour long in the first 20 minutes they say nothing i don't mind watching a video an hour long but give me something so just start making your videos and make them relevant get the information out stop post it and keep moving on and make how to videos i just found a channel the other day and it's called i love basketball and this person has over 2 million views, but it's really interesting because everybody loves to play basketball. I remember when my son was playing and they wanted to see what, what do I need to do to get a, you know, a high vertical jump. And this person that put the, the, this channel together talks about all those things and makes all these videos about how you can get better and a lot of how to, how to get better in basketball, how to stay in shape, how to, you know, get your vertical jump higher. It's, it's an excellent video of a channel, but watch it and, and see what they've done there. So what I'm trying to tell you it's not always videos or channels about how to make money i know there's a lot of them out there i know that's what mine's about but it doesn't have to be 
about how to make money. Make it be something that you're interested in. Maybe you play the guitar. You could do a whole channel about how to learn how to play the guitar, how to learn how to play the piano, how to learn how to paint. There are so many things out there. My husband um, is in construction and he was basically a framer and did drywall and framing. That was his expertise. When he built our house, he didn't know how to tile. He didn't know how to do a lot of the electrical and things like that. Guess how he learned? He went to YouTube and found other people's videos. So um, my point is everybody searches YouTube on figuring, trying to figure out how to do things. So do how-to videos, be consistent and stay within your niche. Do not wander away. If you're going to do playing the guitar, then stick with it. Don't start talking about how to sing. That's a whole nother channel. And the last thing is just have fun with it. Um, be passionate about it and just have fun. If you start worrying too much and criticizing yourself too much, then you're not going to have fun with it. Everybody can get better. Everybody has to start with the first step. Just start from where you're at and keep getting better. There's tons of videos out there. There's tons of channels out there to teach you how to be a better YouTuber. There's lots and lots of tips. I go out and watch them all the time. You're watching me now, but go out and watch others. And this is another bonus I want to do. do I do want to give you before I, I sign off. I don't want to be babbling, but I do want to give you this tip. Be careful about watching those huge channels that have millions of views, millions of um, channels and, or, or videos and things like that because it's going to make you feel discouraged. Find somebody that's just a step or two ahead of you, watch them, learn from them, and then just keep growing together. One day you could be that guru, but you're not right now and you're trying to reach too high and it can be discouraging because you got to learn the baby steps first, right? You didn't just jump into your car and start driving. You had to, you know, do all those, you know, watch the steps and do all that crap that you had to do, right? It was very methodical. And then before you know it, it was second nature. So be very careful about comparing yourself to the big channels. Just be you, be authentic, do your best, share your information, and you're just going to get better. You will. You'll just keep getting better. All right. That's all I have for you today. I hope that was helpful. I am stoked. $110 in 30 days. I am excited. This is this is a monumental um, moment or day for me and I'll keep having more. One day you'll hear me saying I'm making $1,000 a day, but today with YouTube, I have made $110 after a whole year of work that I've enjoyed. It hasn't been work for me. It's been fun and I enjoy it and I'm going to keep doing it. Um, please subscribe. If this was helpful to you and you want to learn how to make money online with affiliate marketing using YouTube, this is the place for you. Um, that's what most of my videos are about. And so subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope I didn't babble too much.